That night Gabriel dreams. Oh, hey dragon. Oh, hi. Your soul smells, Gabriel Knight. You seek to be shattered. Uh, yes please, sir? I do. I do. <laughs> You must first burn away the past. How much sin do you have to burn? How much fire you got? <laughs> that... I don't know if that's really threatening to do a line in front of me. You have people all your life. Never committed to anything. Turn back now, and I will forget that you asked for this. No! <laughs> Sorry, that was just me. No! I think his was a bit better. There are only two things that redeem you. Ooh. First, that you have bitter blood in your veins. Second, that three women have loved you. Grace, Gerda, and Grant. No, hang on. Grace, Malia, and Grand. Ask to start on the path. So shall. But you will not be a shattered hitter until you have earned it. Well, maybe his mother. No. <sighs> I cannot show you the path. But I can tell you that you will have to let go. The greater part of yourself, Gabriel Knight. Say goodbye to your Wang. They said the same thing to my no cat when we got him. <laughs> yes. Now you asked for purification. You shall have it. Oh, what's happening, Mr. Dragon? Oh, was that the greatest delivery you could have done? Hey. You got a sword. That oh. It turned into you slash crash. And then turned into a key. Magic. Key's not really that practical with those horns on it though. You might scratch yourself using it. Good morning, Riddersburg. It's a lovely day eight. Inside the hidden chamber. Oh, for goodness sakes. What a night. What a night. I'm so all over. Give me back my nightmares. They were easier to deal with. But hey, look, there's a key. So we got what we wanted. It fits. It fits. Amazing. And then he flickered through the door. And we had to wait for the sound effect to exit the room. Alright, so let's have a little look-see over what well, all the bookcases really. There are books on sociology in this part of the library. Okay. Gabriel Per There are Gabriel Per. Will you be These shelves contain Gabriel peruses the titles with interest, but nothing jumps out at him. This part of the library contains books on the occult. I'm surprised not the entire library is the book, um, the occult. Although it probably isn't connected with the case at hand, Gabriel picks up an occult book. Okay. It's a book on lichen tropes shape-shifters. The book claims that lycanthropy is not uncommon. Ugh. Supposedly there's been evidence of apparently normal human beings turning into various beasts throughout history, including some famous trials from the Middle Ages. I'm sorry. Fascinating. Oh. Gabriel's made a few women turn into beasts himself. You know what's funny because if you've watched the other ones that I, the other games that I've done, you know that the second game is all about werewolves and gay werewolves. But Gabriel's not sure. 
so that's kind of a little tip of the hat to the next game. These shelves display books on geography. Yeah, that, we like we like geography. Gabriel pulls out the book entitled People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the artists, justice, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fans, the Dahomeys, and the terrible Agris. Oh, where the Agris come the book, from? The Primal One by John Roots provides insight into these fascinating cultures. I get it, Roots. Primal evils. Gabriel Wood. Roots, I get Gabriel. it. Gabriel Okay, religious books, Gabriel is science books. Gabriel, although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts, Gabriel picks up a book from the Ritter section. And then it talks about where Red is the gone. The book <laughs> is entitled Maleus Maleficarum, The, the Witch Hammer, dated 1486. <gasps> it's a witch hunter's manual from the Inquisition. I'm not sure I'm really interested in knowing about some of my ancestors. I'm sure you are. Although it pro it looks like a very old diary of the wife of Rita Schottenjäger. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. It seemed that her husband, one Freiling Ritter, had rescued this woman from the clutches of the Marquis de Sade himself. <laughs> this family tree really goes way back. I bet she would have had fun with the Marquis de Sade. The written documents are fascinating. Okay, fine. Gabriel. These books. History books. These Gabriel. Where's our genres? Gabriel. These Gabriel. Come on. These Gabriel. It makes sense. These journal. Something to. These uh. journal. Something to. I have. These shelves. Science Gabriel books. These shelves. Science Gabriel. books. These Gabriel. Religion. This part, necro research material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These shelves are titled. These shelves, Gabriel. Archaeology. Yeah, uh, Gabriel. Ah, here it is. Gabriel takes down the primal ones and opens it. In contrast with the peaceful nomadic tribes of northern Africa, certain tribes of the southwest were vicious and xenophobic. Mm. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that's occurred there over the centuries. Delicious. In this one area of Africa existed in a perpetual state of war and raiding. Some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Mm. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, one must look even further back. See ancient roots of Africa by early days. Ah, <laughs> early days. I get it. History. We're gonna save here because this might actually trigger off our um, our scene into the uh, Easter egg. So I'm just gonna save this as Easter egg. Um, and we should probably check the time because I have a feeling. Got a bit of an inkling. 35 minutes we can keep going we should have enough time Gabriel so, history book Gabriel oh we actually put our eye on it god this chat Gabriel recognizes a title ancient roots of Africa by early days early days Gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa and browses to it, it. The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessors. Mm. In Egyptian time, 4000 to 2000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun, sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exist in Africa today. See Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. Oh, accurate. I get it. I get it. 
How many more puns are you going to throw These at me? These shelves contain a title catches Gabriel's eye. Or I suppose that since it's a religious book, it's a curate, as in like a cur- yeah, you know. But accurate, accurate, it, it still works. Where's my hand? Oh, I keep passing it. Keep passing Get my hand. Get down. Sun worshippers and scans it. What's happening? One of the earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. Mm. The African sun god was violent and terrible and so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. You mean The Capri homeland Sanko? of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. Uh -huh, because he wants to see more shards. Ugh. That one was kind of lame, Sierra, even by your standards. These shelves display books on geography. One A book. title catches Gabriel. Oh, where's that one? Where's the other this one? This research. Where's the other one? There are Gabriel. Where's the other one? Ah, here we are. Gabriel takes ancient digs of Africa. And the most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located mm. 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Yeah, this is beginning to sound Like the here, snake mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery, though clearly they were the results of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike mm. other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. You mean a the wheel mound is within a wheel? To have housed an ancient temple. You mean a wheel within a wheel? Come on, show us the picture, Gabriel. <gasps> a wheel within a wheel. Come on, I see it coming. What? What is going on, Gabriel? Gabriel. You are kidding me, man. If you've crashed, you are the lamest Chantonier guy I've ever seen. Look at you, just standing there without your butt and just holding a book and, like, not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, Philly. All right. We'll be back in a moment. And hopefully we will get the cutscene more after. So we'll see you in a moment. All right, and we're back. Let's try this again. Gabriel would. Gabriel would. I will look at the. Yes, thank you. All right. Gabriel flip takes through, ancient through, flip through, flip through. days of Africa. And okay, like the snake, although Akia, this is partially due to stringent government regulations, and partially to local superstitions. The local people regard the mound with fear and will not go near it. Hmm, interesting. A double snake ring? You mean a wheel within a wheel? You mean a double Gabriel rainbow? Gabriel flips furiously looking for a picture. Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. Oh, I was hoping for a double Gabriel rainbow. Gabriel decides to hang on to the snake mound book. Oh, that sounds wrong. This is the snake mound. Oh, baby, yeah. It looked like a the wheel. Within a veal. Alright. Ah, uh, Look, we're just standing here. There we go. Alright. So, let's save. Because we basically get to go downstairs and tell Gerda that we know where we're going. And she will miss us greatly. But. It must be done. Guten Morgen, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Frustuck, a good <laughs> German breakfast. Please, feel at home. Guess what, Gerda? Actually, we'll save here. Uh, <laughs> I know I keep changing my mind, but it's kind of like, I get closer and closer. Oh, I'll save here too. <clears throat> okay. Um, actually, before we do the next bit, if I look at my little timer... We're now at 42 minutes, so we'll take our episode break here. So we'll see you guys next time.